Hello, print fam. My name is Darren. Welcome back to the print shop. Recently in the comments, I've had a lot of people, well, let's stick up here. I've had a lot of people ask about promotional products. And promotional products, kind of in a short term, or a short, sweet answer, is swag. Stuff we all get. That's not really what people call it. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, so I thought I would explain how to become a promotional products distributor. The way that it works is there are suppliers, the people that take the water bottle and decorate it or manufacture the water, water bottle and decorate it or manufacture the hand sanitizer or manufacture cleaning cloths or manufacture pens whether they have a factory in China, overseas, whether they produce everything here in America or wherever you are, Canada, Europe, UK, etc., you have these suppliers. And I'm gonna specifically talk about how it works here in America because that's all I'm familiar with. Um, <clears throat> but you have suppliers that create the product, decorate the product, do everything, and then you have the distributors. Typically, all of the suppliers will only sell to distributors so a end user can't go to the supplier and say hey I want to buy this thing the supplier directs them to a distributor sometimes those distributors have forms on their websites they have lists on their website sometimes they don't um, <clears throat> but really the biggest hurdle is figuring out who those suppliers are and there are three three main ways to become a distributor <clears throat> and to get the supplier's information. <coughs> Sorry, something in my throat. There are, there's one free way and two paid ways. I, at least that I am aware of and would recommend. Um, I'm a member of the free one and one paid one. So we'll start with the paid ones. Um, when I first started in the promotional product industry, I was a member of a organization called ASI, which is, I think, Ad Specialty Industry. Um, they have their program, which gets you connected to suppliers. Um, I honestly can't remember how much it is. At the time when I first started, I paid for it for a year, and then I didn't do it again, just because my main focus from the beginning of my business was printing and I had a really good supplier I still use that supplier today um, but I was focused on printing now I'm doing everything um, then you have sorry got a phone call anyway the second one is sage um, kind of in conjunction with PPAI um, I don't know what they stand for I should but promotional product associate I don't know Anyway, if you pay for PPAI, you get Sage for free. So I pay for PPAI and I get Sage for free. Sage, PPAI is kind of like the education side of things and Sage is the supplier network. Um, they have a mobile app, a desktop app, website. You can even buy the ability to have your own website with products on it, but I don't find that useful because if I send customers to places like that, then they get really, really confused. And it's like, oh, I don't know what to do. And they get kind of analysis paralysis and buyer like fatigue because it's like there's so many things that they can look at. So a lot of times what I try to do is figure out, okay, what are, what are you trying to do? What's your purpose? What's the activity or what's the marketing plan behind it to determine what the best product is for you? I try to help be that consultant and get them the right product rather than just buying random things. Like I was, I did a webinar and Duplo sent me a water bottle, which is great. Water bottles, I'm not gonna throw it away, but a lens cleaner, like that's not really something I'm gonna use. I have it because I can use it to sell lens cleaners. But if I was just a printer, like this isn't super useful to me. And then they said hand sanitizer right now, hand sanitizer makes sense, but it doesn't always make sense. So there's a lot of things that you can do as a promotional products distributor that can help um, with that. So I'm going to get to the free one of how you can get started for free 
Well, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Show me that you care and appreciate this content. And let's jump in to the free one. So the free one, how can I get started as a promotional products distributor for free? Distributor Central. And this hasn't been available. I, I don't think that this has maybe been around for like five years. It hasn't been very long. Um, they have a free plan and a paid plan. I'm not really sure the difference. I'm sure there's some feature set. Um, but a few years ago, that's what I <clears throat> started using. And that's what got me more into prom promotional products and why I then moved to Sage. Because Sage just, basically suppliers have to pay to be a part of these networks. And uh, say, or Distributor Central does not have as many suppliers in it. There's still a ton because there's literally thousands and thousands of suppliers, but Distributor Central just doesn't have as many. So your, your pool of suppliers is a little bit limited, but it's a great way to get started and it's a great way to get free access so that you can start your business. Because I think that's one of the biggest problems people have is when they're getting started and trying to go for it, they don't want to spend all this money not knowing what's going on. Um, so I can definitely understand that and I used it and it helped me get a few product sales under my belt and then I moved to a paid product just because it's easier and better and works better for me. Um, so those are kind of the three main suppliers. Again, you have ASI, PPAI slash Sage, and then Distributor Central. Um, I know with PPAI and Sage, they do that based off of your revenue. I'm in the lowest revenue tier, so it's $500 a year to have access to them. Again, I don't know what ASI is. Um, I am a part of a promotional products group on Facebook, and I also have my own Facebook group that talks about all this stuff that I talk about. Um, or you can talk about it. There's only like 30 people right now. But... Um, they, someone did a poll recently who was a supplier to ask basically which one people use the most. And of the like 100 people that answered, there were maybe five or six people that use ASI and then everyone else uses Sage. I didn't see anyone talk about Distributor Central, maybe a few little comments on it. But again, most people in that group are paid members and have a paid subscription because you have access to more suppliers. So again, promotional products is geared towards swag. It's stress balls, it's pens, it's water bottles. Like I recently found a notepad supplier on there because my normal print house was like someone quoted that, or I had a customer that got a quote from someone else and they forwarded it to me and said, hey, I just wanna buy this from you. And the quote that they received was lower than what it even cost me from my supplier. So I used Sage to find notepads. And that's where you can do sticky notes, adhesive pads, um, like rulers, laptop cases, lap phone holders, nail clippers, nail files, try like literally the gambit of things. Um, it's crazy. So let me start the screen sharing. I'll show you what Sage looks like. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm in my bed. Uh, Darren texted me and he's like, hey, um, I just, you know, I'd like to release this one video, the promotional video soon. Could you do that? And I was like, yeah, I can get it to it tomorrow. And then I went, well, what if I forget? So I was like, oh, I forgot. I, I bought a Mac. So I'll just, I'm moving. Um, we had like a whole FaceTime conversation, but it didn't capture the audio. So he called me and he asked me what he should look up for promotional products. And I told him a hat. Uh, I love dad hats, just like stupid. I'm buying one that says MILF. So I'm pretty hyped about that hat, but he asked me what hat he should get or what, what, what promotional product he should get. And I told him hat. So he's going to say, Cam said hat. And that's why he said Cam says hat. So, a little backstory. Okay, so here's Sage. And you have your column over here where you can search for stuff. 
Typically the only thing I use it for is product search. There's lots of other things you can do. I'm sure I could pay for even more features, but all I use is product search. So let's click product search. Cam said that we're gonna search for hats. So we have categories, so we can do hats. And here on the right hand side, you see that it says hats. So we'll double click it. So it does hat or hats. Again, there's literally like, if we take out hats here, like adapters, stuffed animals, aquarium, art, bags, balloons, batteries, belt buckles, cables, buttons, clay, hangers, memo pads, like tons of crap. Some of it literally is crap. So, You can also do keywords, so like if you're looking for a specific, like we'll do flat. So like a flat brim hat or a flex hat or whatever. You can choose price, you can choose theme, you can choose color, you can do quantity if you want to order one. You can do like if it's made in America, made in a specific place, assembled in America, decorated in America, decorated in China, Pakistan, wherever. Then click search, and it's gonna do its magic. It's gonna find stuff. So you can see there's lots of different options. Like you can get a fireman hat. Typically those fireman hats do not fit adults, so maybe that one does. But you can quickly and easily see here that it has just, just all this stuff. Um, so you can see, I you can change the way the pricing is viewed. I have mine set on gross, yes, gross pricing, um, which is why you can see like the A and the P and the, I think I saw an R. Uh, promotional products have a pricing scale so that you as a promotional products distributor can know what your cost is. So they have the ABC scale and like the PQ something scale. Um, I don't want to publicly share what that is, um, but I'll see if I can figure out a way to share it with you so you can see pricing, because basically this is what I would sell it for, but it's not what I pay, but because it's an A, I know what my price is, because I know what my discount is for an A, and I know what my discount is for an R, well, I don't remember R's, like ABC, I remember but they came out with the other version because people found out or could find out what the ABC was. And so <laughs> anyway, so then you can click into that. You can get more information. You can see like minimum quantity. So this one you can see, you can do a minimum of one. This one has a minimum of 12. This one's a minimum of 144. Um, so like 288, 12. Some of them are gonna be decorated, some of them are gonna be undecorated, some of them you can buy either way, and you can get all the information once you click in and go to something. Um, so it'll tell you the suggested MSRP, it'll show you your net, it'll show you where it's coming from, where it's decorated, what the decoration costs are, what it includes, decoration size, all that fun stuff. So it makes it really easy to find promotional products to pitch to people. And then you can also, if you're trying to do an order for someone or they don't know what they want, you can create presentations and send a presentation. So I did that for a customer, they wanted some keychains, so I went and found a bunch of different keychains that met their criteria, sent them. Storage filled up. Anyway, worked on that presentation, was able to send them the presentation so they could just see it all in a nice email. Um, the, basically the email gives them a link, they can look at it, I get notified when they see it, so I can then follow up with them. So it works out really well so this is sage and this is why i like it so if you have any questions about how to become a promotional products distributor leave them down in the comments so far this year i think it has been my oh let's stop the recording i think it's been my number one item that i've sold so let me pull up my dashboard here Yes, so promotional products is the number one selling item this year for my business. Um, closely followed by screen printing, 
which is then closely followed by print, which is then closely followed by embroidery. Um, promotional products though is about to be knocked out of the park because this is only showing the one projects, the projects that are completed, not the ones that are still in queue. So that number is gonna about quadruple here in the next few weeks. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunities to do promotional products. I'm working on a big campaign to push to dentists um, to try to push even more promotional products because they always order the same thing. They were pens, sticky notes, notepads, and so I'm gonna push it really hard. So it's a great opportunity. Again, you can look at ASI, Sage slash PPAI, and Distributor Central. If you wanna get started for free, Distributor Central is the way to go to then build up to determine and you can like you can find yard signs you can find business cards like any product you want to search for you can find it's just a matter of if you have access to the right supplier through the promotional products library yellow pages phone but I don't know what you want to call it platform so hope that helps um, promotional products have been a great addition to my business and I'm pushing it really hard this year um, I'm trying to push screen printing harder but you can even find screen printers like you can buy apparel you can find contract screen printers all through promotional products so a lot of people will like promotional products is all-encompassing um, but I split everything out because I don't feel that it is like to me like I sometimes I consider hats promotional products but I consider that embroidery or I consider it screen printing but it really is a promotional product it's got a branded item it's a promotional product it's like chef hats like just weird stuff that you can do so thank you for watching thank you cam for editing the video thank you cam for being a part of the video again if you guys have questions leave them down in the comments and i hope this helps you get started for free Bye, Prime.